10 incredible cleaning hacks that actually works. Welcome friends, my name is Florence Stracker. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through 10 incredible, amazing cleaning hacks that actually works. And number 10, aluminum foil hack. Pick up a piece of aluminum foil from your recent cooking section. If you want to reuse or get a new one, crumple it into a ball, add a dish soap and water to a pan or pot and scrub away. You will see that all of the debris or all of the dirt is pulling off and this is amazing cleaning hack you don't need to buy a metal scrubber cleaning hack number nine keeping things hygienic generally whenever i buy a jewelry or an earring i use rubbing alcohol to clean the post and the backing quickly by applying a small amount on a cotton pad rubbing alcohol has a lot of uses on jewelry just to be clean all kind of jewelry this is just for gold and silver with stones that can withstand this type of cleaning and remember not on custom or pearl jewelry with time our rings becomes dull or unshine just by using lotions and regular use of our hands in water and everything makes our rings becomes dull and what you can do is consider immersing your jewelry in a half cup of rubbing alcohol you can add a teaspoon of dish soap mix the ingredients together allowing everything to rest for a while wring it up gently scrub with a toothbrush then rinse and dry them they will come out shining and bright cleaning hack number eight how to boost your laundry with vinegar vinegar can be used as a laundry booster to assist you when doing your laundry simply a laundry booster makes your detergent more effective you don't need to purchase anything fancy all you need is to use a white vinegar when you are doing your laundry you can either put it into a small pre-rinse compartment if your machine has one or you can put it into a machine as it fills with water i put my detergent into the machines first then pour a lot of vinegar into all of the various compartments suppose i have a compartment such as a bleach the fabric the fabric softener the pre-wash compartment or any other in that case vinegar goes in there because it helps soften fabrics it helps deodorize and it also helps lightens and brightens fabrics depending on the color of your materials as a result if anything is a little bit thinky vinegar will help you can then take your clothes either hang them to dry or put them in a dryer and you will notice a difference don't worry about having vinegar scent in your clothes cleaning hack number seven homemade diy recipes practical diy recipes are something many of you and i love and and this has to be a personal favorite i adore using this all-purpose scrub in the bathroom additionally you may use it in a kitchen or anywhere else where there is a significant quantity of grease accumulation to absorb gums this is a miracle worker in essence this makes a roll of what you may refer to as cream of powdered cleaner so let's begin make a small amount in a container as you go so that you won't prepare a large amount or a quantity at once but only amount you will need at a time so you will combine equal portion of dish soap and baking soda in a dish you may also add a few drops of water here and there keep stirring until the mixture resembles pudding like a little thick you may add roughly 10 drops of your favorite essential oil for fun whenever i clean my bathroom i usually add 10 drops of tea tree essential oil on an added mold and mildew resist antibacterial punch but if you would instead use another one lavender and peppermint are also good you can also add eucalyptus if that is something that you like that is also an excellent choice you want your sponge to be incredibly moist when cleaning side by side side by side after then you should just let it stand for a while pre-treating as we all know performs the leg work for you when you are done you will turn the sponge back to the scrubbing side and scrub it side by side pattern way while giving it a good rinse and drying it this is the quickest homemade diy you can make to get all the gums clean in your home cleaning hack number six 
how to clean game controller make a little post it note and use the pointless corner to scrape away all the crude in and around the part where those game controllers have things your hand sweat get in there this is suggestion for anyone trying to find out how to clean a game controller it's a terrific method to clean all your devices including keyboards if you can reach all the narrow grooves or areas which are challenging to reach the folded corner of the post it note really helps well to get rid of all those little stuff that are sticking hiding in those little spaces or little corners on your game controller cleaning hack number five how to freshen your home when vacuuming this is a straightforward exercise that sort of props you as you vacuum all you have to do is quite some essential oil into the vacuum cleaners filter if you use a vacuum cleaner with a bag you may just dash a little drops of essential oil onto or into the bag additionally when the vacuum operates you will notice that it emits a light of scent that is somewhat nice in any case so that really freshens your home makes it a little fun when you are vacuuming so that is a little boost to make your vacuuming easier and much fun cleaning hack number four the simplest way to clean dirty blender so there is an effortless way to clean your blender if necessary you should give it a quick rinse to get rid of any leftovers after adding roughly half a teaspoon of dish soap and half as much water you may cover it place it on the base set the timer for 30 to 45 seconds and once that is done remove your blender from the base give it a quick wash clean wash inside and give it a rough rinse and let it air dry and that's all you have to do and your blenders will be clean neat and take any leftovers out cleaning hack number three cleaning stinking cutting board cutting board made of glass are more odor resistant than plastic or wood therefore spraying hydrogen peroxide directly on the surface is an effortless way to handle the situation after letting it sit for five to ten minutes thoroughly clean your cutting board with soapy water rinse it well and let it air dry hydrogen peroxide will kill odor causing microorganisms one method that people use to quickly get to their hydrogen peroxide bottle is to remove the screw top entirely and replace it with a spraying bottle nozzle which they keep in their cleaning containers or their arsenal that really helps you when you want to reach to use your hydrogen peroxide you don't have to be taking the caps off all you have to do is just start spraying and it makes your life a little easier cleaning hack number two second life use of your dryer sheet if you use dryer sheets consider giving them a second chance before throwing them out when they emerge from the dryer you may see that they are less rigid a bit more crinkly and free of the coating so why not use them to clean your baseboard the fact that your dryer sheet will still have some electromagnetic charge means they may still attract which is always good thing when cleaning a baseboard all you have to do while dusting is clean your baseboard as you usually would with a dryer sheet and after you are finished scramble it up throw them away into a trash and this just give a second life to your dryer sheet so you know you are not wasting anything hey friends don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification button cleaning hack number one preventing shoe noise in your dryer i know some folks wash their shoes in a washer and then also dry them in a dryer I don't wash my shoe in a washer i don't dry them in a dryer so this is a one cleaning hack for people who wash their shoes in a washer and then dry them in the dryer they make so much noise when they are in the washer you don't want them to make the same noise when you are drying them so this is what you need to do first thing you may do before putting your shoes in a dryer is to grab them by the laces hang them by the door and then shut the door so that some of the laces are still visible outside by doing this you can prevent your shoes from rattling around while they are drying if you choose not to do that another option is to place the shoes in the soft bag additionally you may seal the door after hanging a section of the soft bag outside to achieve the same result this way you know that you are still drying the shoes but they are not making such noise that is very annoying 
point and that gets me to this week's frequently asked question what do you think of the cleaning hacks has it been helpful or has it failed you now that you know all the incredible cleaning hacks i want to show you how to hand wash white towels like a pro subscribe to the channel so i can make more videos like this make sure to check out the video on how to hand wash white towels like a pro see you on that video stay healthy and take care bye